Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 66 for learning Maven system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to work on the profile setting for in the user dashboard, right? So in our previous video, we have a uh, uh, we have set up our user dashboard like uh, we have fetched the role courses, favorite courses, assignment, how many assignments completed, pending, right? Now in this uh, video, we will work on the profile setting. So this will be similar as a a uh, teacher profile setting if you see the teacher profile setting that this will be similar for the user also right so in the user we have uh, okay this is teacher let's uh, say for the user full name email password and interest right so i'll just copy this paste here and uh, let's log out here and let's click on the register full name email when uh, username interest and what we have full name email we need username we don't need the password because we have a additional password change component okay so full name email uh, profile photo where this is additional profile photo and then uh, we will say the uh, what else uh, the username right so let's uh, change this first of all the profile component hmm? so we have here the profile setting so we don't need the password right actually let's copy the let's copy the component of the teacher profile setting right so teacher profile setting here we'll copy all of the thing and paste it here and if we need then we will change the things okay so if you go here and uh, it's saying something because of uh, we are passing the teacher id but what we need student id right so teacher data it will be student data full name email we don't need the qualification we don't need the email okay so we also don't need the status this but full name email username we can see and then uh, let's go to the model so student model we have full name email username interested categories right so interested categories we don't need this okay and for the image okay we don't have image actually so let's say we have teacher it's a teacher profile image okay so we will copy this and paste in the student here hmm? so it will be student profile image right so let's migrate this first then we will do the other things make migration make migrations then migrate right and then we will run the server now it's in our zone so we can use this profile image here in trusted category and all that we don't need we need student id right so student id and this will be student this is student id full name is all right email is all right we need username this will be the username interested category so this will be the interested category and what else so profile image is profile image p image is empty and this will be student data huh? so set here right so student data set student data hmm? here okay this is this one then this one submit form uh, student data right and then full name email what we need for, uh, what is this this is okay so full name email is okay then username and then interested categories 
right don't need this skills right so student data right so teacher form data will say student form data huh form data and this will be student form data student data student data here here and this will be student id okay right and this is student okay so data has been updated okay and this is set student data everything is fine now let's go for the let's say my profile huh and this is teacher login status we'll say what we have for the user user login maybe user login yes user login and this is student login status student login status if not equal to true then it will return and the here so this will be student data all right and this is image fine this will be username right so username should be you know not text area it should be input so input type equal to text and on change is all right we don't need to remove this add this name is username we don't need this div and then uh, what about the uh, interested categories so interested categories here hmm let's add here and just add i remove underscore add c and we'll say interested categories interested categories i don't need this name here i don't know why we are putting here and this will be like php python javascript okay so i think i have changed everything we need just we need to confirm the url that everything is working right so let's go to the as we have student slash something so student we have teacher detail okay but we don't have student detail so what we will do we'll copy this and paste it here and we will say student detail right so we will create similar to the uh, let's say teacher detail we will create for the student detail right so we have we are starting the student list student dashboard here we are so this will be student detail hmm? right so i hope you are understanding everything if you are not then please add in the comment section right so student serializer here we are and this is student okay so i think we are okay with that we have changed everything whatever we need now let's see what is the error that we missed hmm? okay can't resolve sidebar yeah it's fine because we need only sidebar this is sidebar uh, everything is fine now okay so okay i'm not logged in okay change one thing more we need an email here okay not a username we need an email right 
so in the email so i'll change the message label sorry i'll change the label and here we will add mm, let's add create gmail.com password is something right and then login okay so one thing more we need to do uh, it's redirecting on the student dashboard we need to redirect on the uh, user dashboard right so if I put here user dashboard then it will show, show this thing profile setting uh, we have we should have data huh? but we don't let's see okay it was showing some error huh? let's see here 301 response yeah it's showing the data but why not filling the data in the form name student data full name full name let's see data full name data email username okay <coughs> console student data is not function okay 24 oh sorry set student data oh yes okay so everything is uh, filled here let's uh, add alex and update so what it is saying 404 password field is required right so what we will do we will say this should be null null equal to true what we have done for the teacher password yeah null true blank true yeah it, that's fine so we will do for the student also okay currently but this is not a you know the this is not a, a suggested method because we need the password right so you can send the hidden password also okay when you are submitting the form you can send the hidden password why well, this is happening now okay so let's say alex update so data has been updated right so if i refresh the page again okay so it should show the data but it is not okay let's go to the username we have this is name username actually we are updating the skills but it should have the username alex update right and let's go to the dashboard again profile setting right so now again it's not updating the data hmm. let's go to the model username is all right interested category profile image everything is fine why this is not updating the data let's see update this one response username is this yes everything is fine but it is not fetching the username hmm? student data username oh you see this all right if you see that then it's very nice alex update so data has been updated right now let's update the image huh? image okay dashboard uh, 400 by 400 Whoa. not this image code artisan lab update data has been updated let's see the image image is not showing student profile image okay p image and this is email that is fine this is p image id video full name is okay okay let's see oh you understand that where is the issue 
no i don't think you understand yes in the student serializer you are now you can understand so this will be profile image right so here we are let's match the name yeah okay so now this is cool right so let's post the image update and if i refresh the page here again it's showing the image okay so our profile section is done okay now we are updating the data so remember that when we are sending the data we are using the put method okay so when you are adding the data you have to post method because the serializer the the view we are creating this is list create api view retrieve this is work on the http methods like post put delete okay if you see the django rest framework documentation then you will understand so i'm not uh, if you want to override the thing then you will um, like they have defined the method like you can uh, override with the great great method override with the list method in this you can override with the put delete and uh, uh, put delete get method right so these are the default methods they are working out in the http methods but if you want to override you can override right so we have completed the user dashboard profile setting section now we can uh, move to the change password okay so thank you so much for watching this video please uh, like this video subscribe this channel and uh, join the uh, community uh, i have uh, you know you can follow me on the github paypal uh, sorry paypal you can follow me on github instagram facebook and support me via reserve pay paypal whatever uh, you want okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you